Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you hope you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nibs home school this is lokman hasan an assistant teacher of english national ideal english version school today i am going to conduct an english literature class for the students of class 4 our today's topic is comprehension from buzzword i will in our today's topic i will tell you about a story a story of robinson crusoe who was a young boy very energetic and curious boy who had a desire to see the unseen to know the unknown once upon a time he made a sea voyage uh, deserving his parents permission in his way of journey he had to suffer a lot his ship was wrecked in a with a heavy storm and finally he was appeared in an island and this island he had to stay more than 28 years without having any family members so because of his deserving to her to his parents he had to suffer a lot his full life in the isolated island was trouble and heavy challenge so let's start to discuss our today's story first of all you can have a look here is the picture of robinson crusoe This story is written by Daniel Defoe. This is Robinson Crusoe. Okay, read out the passage first. At the age of 18, Robinson Crusoe set out on a voyage. Before going to our passage, we need to we need to be introduced with some vocabulary of the passage. First of all, see here, voyage. Voyage means journey by sea. If you read out the vocabulary first then the passage or story will be very easy for you so voyage means journey by sea second one wreck wreck means destroyed so badly number 3 goat skin goat skin is a one type of leather made from the skin of a goat is one kind of leather made from the skin of a goat baskins baskins means calf length laced boards show one type of boards show clumsy clumsy means which is not well fitted which looks odd looking cano cano means a small boat stop dead stop dead means stop moving suddenly longed for longed for means wished for hammock is one type of bed made from cloth crept crept means moved silently made me just made me start made me start means suddenly shocked me so now you can easily understand our today's story so at the age of 18 robinson crusoe set out on a voyage set out means start voyage means sea journey traveling by sea okay he traveled to many countries his ship was wrecked so wrecked means ruined heavily wrecked during one such voyage and he was thrown on an empty island he lived on this island about 420 about for 28 years about for 28 years a long time he managed to build a house for himself grow some crops and also raise animals his life on the island was full of adventure 11 years had gone by my dog was quite old now and the cats had produced quite a large family now mr robinson crusoe is talking about himself the parrot had learned to speak well i also had a heart of gods here i refers robinson crusoe himself i also had a heart of gods to take care of though i had never milk a cow though he had not experience about milking a cow and certainly not a goat i managed to learn after much trial and error trial and error means to make something or to do something making mistake first finally correction i learned how to make butter and cheese i had a lot of fruits in my garden i was also growing enough grain and making my own bread so in this passage in this first passage we can understand that when robinson crusoe robinson crusoe was in a island isolated island then he had to experience about milking a cow he had a heart of goats heart of life stocks and in this way he faced a lots of challenge he tried to manage everything quietly and very properly next one is 
I lived like a king in my castle with my family, but I still longed for human friends. Longed for means wished for. Sometimes I dreamed that I had gone back to London and was walking down the street in my goat skin clothes. What a funny sight I would be. I looked like a wild man with a long beard. Here you can see the very strange, his dress looks very strange with a long beard. Okay, on my head was a big cap made of goat skin. It was very tall and without shape. I wore short strange things on my feet which I call baskins. I wore a broad belt around my waist and another hanging over my shoulder. Above my head, I carried my great clumsy ugly umbrella and my skin had, had been burnt brown by the sun. Whenever the weather was fine, I went over to the other side of the island and go to the land I had seen at a distance. I thought there were human beings on the island. One morning, as I was going to the canoe, a strange thing happened. In this passage, we can understand that whenever he was passing his life in an island, then he had to experience a lot of strange things. He, he had no proper dress like human being, so he managed all types of leather and baskins and goat skins to make himself as a human being. One day, he faced a cannibal. He faced some cannibal. After, after getting this cannibal sim symptom in a, a land post, then he was frightened. He was very frightened. OK, next. I thought there were human beings on the island. One morning, as I was going to the canoe, a strange thing happened. I had taken a few steps when I stopped dead. The in front of me was a human footprint. It was human footprint. You can see, you can see here is a picture of footprint. It looks like human footprint. Actually, it's not human footprint. These are the footprint of cannibal who eats human's meat. Okay. Hill, toes, every part of a foot and much larger than mine. I stood like one who had seen a ghost. I looked around and listened. I went to the top of a little hill to look far further. Then I walked up and down the shore. I saw no other prince. I came back to look once more at what I had seen. Was I dreaming? I looked at the footprint closely again. Yes, there in the scent was the print of a man's foot. I was not dreaming. How did it come to be there? Who was he? How did he get there? That is the question arising in his mind. He was talking with himself. I was so frightened that I didn't go to the canal. I turned and went back to, to my castle as fast as I could. As I walked, I kept looking behind me because I imagined that every bush and tree was a man. After being frightened from cannibal's footprint, then he was very amused and very uh, frightened. He, th he thought everything as a fear things. He considered all everything as his matter of fear because he was frightened by footprints of cannibal. Cannibal is one kind of man eaters. Thing. I shut myself up as quickly as I could and began to get ready to protect myself from the strange man. That night, I couldn't sleep. I lay in my hammock and thought, hammock means one kind of bed made from cloth. The stranger had come perhaps from the land that I had seen for across the sea. Perhaps he had come to the island alone. Perhaps he had come with many others of his kind. But where was he now? I was so afraid that I didn't step out of my castle for three days and nights till there was no food left. But then I had to go out in search of food. I cracked softly down my fields. Every sound made me start and look around. Start and look around means he was shocked. 
and lived for days like someone who was afraid of his own shadow. Okay, this is all about our today's topic. Now, look at some question regarding this passage. You have some questions. There are four questions. Open your main textbook. Then you can see the question. And in your CW copy, pick out this answer of the question. First question is, who is telling the story, the footprint? So, we know that Robinson Crusoe is telling the story, the footprint. First answer of the question is, Robinson Crusoe is telling the story, the footprint. This is the answer of first question. Second, question number second, who were part of Crusoe's family on the island? So, from according to the passage, we came to learn that dog, cats, parrot, herd of goats, cow, garden, etc. were part of Crusoe's family on the island. Question number three, what did Crusoe dream about? According to the passage, we know that Crusoe dreamed that he had gone back to London and was walking down the street in his goat skin clothes. Number four, where was Crusoe going when he saw the footprint? Crusoe was going to the canoe when he saw the footprint. Answer is, Crusoe was going to the canoe when he saw the footprint. Dear students, now read the story carefully and make five true false and five fill in the blanks for your HW and submit this HW on Sunday. So I hope you have understood our today's passage. Our today's passage was a story. The story was a young boy. The boy was very curious about making journey. He had, uh, he had many challenges in his life without dissolving his when he disobeyed his parents, that's why he got punishment in his way of sea voyage. He was wrecked with a heavy stone. So, dear students, don't obey your parents, abide by your parents, don't go outside, stay at home, stay well. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.